Alright, so I had this idea to bring you on a day with me at university. And since it's the last day of class today, I kinda had no choice but to do it today. So I asked you guys on Twitter a couple of questions, uh, well actually a question asking what's diff- if- uh. So I actually asked you guys uh, what you thought if you had any questions about high school compared to university, and actually a couple of you answered, so I'm gonna answer those questions today. I have a really boring day actually, it's just one lab because a lot of this stuff has been cancelled because it's the last day, but hopefully we can do something about this. If not, I guess I'm gonna have to retry next year. So of course, being the brilliant human being I am, I forgot to lock the front door! Yay! Anyways, so now that I'm not gonna get our house robbed, it's time to go to university. So first things off, the first thing I can say is university basically guarantees you two things. One is that you're gonna bus a lot, and the second one, well, I'll have to wait for a couple minutes just to tell you. So one thing I do wanna say is that it's been really nice out today, which never happens because it's in April and we've had snow and rain and crap in the last couple of days, but right now, as you can see, the snow is melting, so that's really nice. Uh, but hopefully it can stay like this because if it snows I think I'm gonna cry because the last time I wanted to film a vlog it snowed and rained and it was just like a really crappy day. Probably not the best weather to bring a camera out, right? Yeah. Alright, so one thing that sucks is that I have to take two buses because this morning was a little late, but hopefully I can cut some time lapse I've done here not too long ago while I wait. Alright, so I hate going inside for absolutely no reason, but I really do want to show you something from my old videos that I talked about, and that'd be kind of cool. So let's say by the outside, and I guess we're gonna go inside and I'll show you a little later something. So if you remember one of my old videos where I was talking about alone versus lonely, these were the tunnels I was talking about. Yeah, they're pretty boring stuff, but you know, at least you know now, so it's kind of a cool thing to know. Um, they're actually pretty long. I'll show you where they end up, and maybe get to that classroom I was talking about in the video, which I'll link up here, hopefully. Yeah, link up here. Gotta point this out though, this is pretty hilarious. All this being do not enter. Being six, six for three, I am definitely not welcome. They're really cool types of, it's a really cool lab, I'm not gonna lie, although I'm never gonna have the chance to use it, but eh, it's still a pretty cool thing to have. I believe, okay, I know I'm going back this way, I believe the lines are like this because they try to make the tunnel look bigger if I'm not mistaken. If someone knows, please let me know, but I believe they put one long line on this side, they put bigger other lines on this side, but I'm not sure. Anyway, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go to my lab and after my lab, I'm gonna try and answer all of your questions, so stay tuned for that, see you soon. Alright, so, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you the second thing about university that's guaranteed is you're gonna walk a lot. I say sitting down ironically, okay, anyways. <laughs> so my lab just finished and it's time to answer your questions, I believe, so let's go check on Twitter. My question was exactly, any of you have questions about how university slash college is, uh, maybe compared to high school? 
So, first question is from Zaya, and he says, What is your favorite thing about university that you do not get in high school? I'm gonna actually do that question both ways. But uh, first off, what do I really like about university? Uh, one of the things is how much freedom you get. You are here because you you want it. You want to be here because you chose to be here. You pay to be in, in university, right? So your teachers aren't forcing you to do anything, basically. And all that you do is because you want to do it. And if you want to get out of the class because it's boring and you think you'd be better off studying, you can do that. So that is a really nice feeling to have, that you're pretty much in control of your own real life. But also, there's some stuff that I do miss from high school, I'm not gonna lie. So in high school, I did a lot of stuff at school. I was student body president, I was, uh, I did sports, I did all kinds of stuff, and that type of structure, and that type of tight-knit community, you don't get. You don't know anyone, you don't know everyone at, at university, right? And that's something that I tend to miss a bit. So yeah, that's probably the thing you may miss the most. But trade-off is you do get to do pretty much anything you want, and you get to do what you want to do, and that's really fun. Sam, our minimalist kid, said, what is, what's the application process like for you? I always wondered what it was like in Canada. I believe actually it's probably way simpler than it is for the US. I believe the US you have to apply college per college like specifically and how it works in Ontario is that you like if you want to apply outside of your province in Canada I believe it's harder and you do have to do that every university you have to apply individually but being in Ontario one of the advantages you have is we have this system where you pay a fee and you can apply up to three different universities or three programs so it costs a certain amount of money I can't remember how much it was and then after what you do is it's 100% almost purely based on grades here. So uh, you, s you send your grades and so on to all those universities and based on your grades you get accepted or you get rejected from a certain university. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Last question is from Christina. Christina said, How is dying as an engineer instead of rocking like an arts kid? Obviously, the moment I say that no one's ever in the nanophysics department, about 25 people walk in at the same time. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, so yeah, who's, uh, whose question was I answering? Okay, you know what? You know, there's a, there's a lot of stuff I like and dislike about university. Um, let's see if I can focus. Focus, okay. Um, one of the major things I do like is just, I'd say it is the freedom because and also the location. If you're lucky, you have like a pizza place beside your high school. But when you're at university, mostly the settings are downtown or somewhere really cool where you can go for a walk or you can get your mind off things and stuff like that. And by that sense, I guess, I guess it's kind of cool. I mean, by having the freedom to go and like last, last week, exactly my last video, we just went for a walk. And that's something that you don't get from being in high school. So that freedom is probably what I really do like. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how weird people think I am walking around with a camera and talking to myself? The looks are pretty unreal. Um, so yeah, right now I'm walking to try and find some cool time lapse that I've been wanting to do for a while. So hopefully we'll cut to that and it'll be pretty nice. Was the only one If I could go back Wouldn't leave you all alone It was so long ago But I hope you know That if I could go back Wouldn't be my past anymore